on the phone with us, we have Mitch Stevens, who is an author of My Life in a Thousand Houses and uh, The Art of Owner Financing, one of uh, several books that he wrote in his series. And, you know, Mitch, uh, it's a very interesting topic. You know, there's a lot of investors out there. There's a lot of different ways to make money in this wonderful country. And uh, you seem to have a, a wonderful knack for that. Now, can you explain a little bit more about the art of owner financing and what, what kind of what goes in behind that and how people can leverage this? Yeah, it's a way of creating cash flow using um, you know real estate, but to not be a landlord and to to relieve yourself of all the liabilities of being a landlord, which are numerous. So um, I simply borrow money from other people to buy houses at 50 cents on the dollar. Okay. And then I sell those houses at 100 cents on the dollar. And but I offer owner financing. I offer to accept a uh, reasonable down payment or a sizable down payment, depending on how you look at it, 10 mm -hmm. to 15 to 20% down. I'll let your down payment be your credit. And then we agree on 20, 25, 30 years worth of principal interest, taxes, insurance, and servicing fee payments. And so basically what happens is, is I borrow some money to buy a house at 50000 I owner finance at 100000 with 10000 down. Okay. I carry the $90,000 balance they owe me at 10% for 30 years. So I collect 850, I pay out on 350, and I keep the 500 in the middle. And I'm not a landlord; I'm the bank. Mm. Wow, you hiring? <laughs> <laughs> it, the thing is, you don't even need me to hire you. You can do it yourself. So I <laughs> wrote the book, um, The Art of Owner Financing, uh, because it's a little understood and a little known. I mean, not many people are exercising it. Not a lot of people are doing it. Certainly fewer people are teaching it. And I don't really know anyone out there teaching it, doing it at the level I am. I've done over 1,500 houses since 1996. Over, well over half of those I own or finance. There's always those houses that come down the pike that I need to wholesale or retail, or for whatever reason, they're not gonna work for my strategy or, or you know, it's just not, I'm just not feeling that way that day. Mm -hmm. But um, over half the houses I do, I own or finance. And, it, and so that mortgage is called a wraparound mortgage. I borrow money and then I sell the house, but I don't pay the house off. So the person in the house has a mortgage that wraps around my lender's mortgage, mm -hmm. it's called a wraparound mortgage. And it's legal in most, every state as far as I know. I mean. So I don't know every state, but so quick question for you in a market like this where inventory is super low, it's an ultra sellers market. Sellers are cashing in huge and trying to find, you know, properties to flip is at an all time low. OK, where are you finding these properties? What is a good place? Where is the best place to look for these types of properties? Well, I mean, the owner finance strategy works best when the person in the house I mean, the sweet, sweet, sweet spot is when the person in the house owes you less than like 120,000 bucks. Because the core belief of my business is a person paying a thousand dollars rent would rather pay a thousand dollars to own. Mm -hmm. Now I know you're in a high value, uh, very expensive house area, but let me tell you this, the, the Angela Day Yon, who wrote me up in Forbes uh, a couple of days ago, I didn't know her, so I called her to ask her why me, and she said, I had a person that had a $1.4 million house that they could not sell for months and months and almost a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And she said, I took it over. I just finished reading your book. I suggested they owner finance it with a down payment and they sold it in six weeks. Wow. That's awesome. It's a powerful, so, powerful tool. Well, the sweet spot is the affordable houses. It doesn't mean it can work in anything. I had another guy call me and said, the light bulb finally went off when I sold my grocery store in, in my business and they couldn't pay for all my stores. So I owner financed the last two stores to them. And then when I started collecting the check every month and I had no phone calls and I was not a landlord, um, the light bulb went off of what you were talking about, how you were talking about doing this with houses. You know, this, this is so exciting to me and I can't wait to, to, to finally get to read your book. And, you know, I'm sitting in studios with Greg Rice and John Castori and I, I can see like their their head like ticking when you're talking and they're like, how can I apply this to to my business? I mean, Greg, do you think you think that you could utilize this over here in Rhode Island? It's definitely feasible. What do you think, John? It's the, the values are tough and it, it would only work 
you know, it, we're talking the, the median out here is 230000 Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yeah. But let me give you an idea, though. Let yeah. me give you an yeah, idea. Please. You know, I can own or finance a house that has a hole in the roof the size of a dining room table. No I can buy it for one price, and I can own or finance it for the guy who's going to remodel it or to the landlord who wants to fix it for a rental. Yep. I can own or finance it to him. Mm-hmm. And if it's a landlord, if I own or finance it to a landlord who wants to do the remodel himself, think about the magic of that. Yes. The best plan in the industry, as far as simple old little old Mitch Steven is concerned, is mm-hmm. buy it, do not fix it, owner finance it for a round double and watch the guy in it go over budget fixing up my collateral that is the most beautiful plan in the world if you ask me no, that's, yeah. absolutely <laughs> that's a win that's a total win on on your part obviously jesus yeah you got you you you're your owner finance in the house so the landlord doesn't have to bring his money to buy the house the house won't qualify for a loan and so you're solving that problem he has the money to fix up the house so it's just like a match made in heaven, and it doesn't fall under Dodd Frank because it's a, it's not a consumer loan; it's a commercial loan. He's right. not going to live in it. So these deals can be done on the day that you meet. On the day that you meet a landlord who wants to buy your owner finance property, you could meet him in the morning. You could give him the keys and sign the papers and have him working on your house by five o'clock that day.